Peace and love. This is a quick message um, for those of you who might be feeling hurt during this time or some of you, you know, even if it's not something that's fresh, it might just be that you look over your life and you're like, God, why have I had, why did this relationship not work? Or I was engaged to this person. Why didn't it work out? Or, you know, you just had disappointment in either a significant relationships or relationships that you tried to have over the time. This message is for you. You actually dodged a bullet. Some of you currently are going through some type of suffering or wondering why you was rejected by a person or why a person went ghost on you. It's because you dodged a bullet. It could have been somebody that you're dealing with and you could have been telling this person, look, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I expect. And they're leading you on and leading you on. And you finally was like, you know what? I'm done. You dodged a bullet. Congratulations. All right. The thing is, sometimes God will allow us to hurt. God would rather us hurt than to suffer for eternity. And you know, to me, what will be the highest form of suffering is to have my final day on earth and realize that the decisions or the people that I allowed in my life kept me away from doing actually what God sent me here to do. That would be my greatest disappointment of all. That would be my greatest disappointment. Way greater than any individual heartbreak or any of that. I would be so disappointed if people, places, and things just continue to come into my life and I continue to accept people, places, and things in my life that curtail me from what God put me on earth to do. That would be the greatest abomination in my personal opinion, okay? Because not only do we have our purpose to help others and to help the world, but when we walk in our purpose, that's where we get the greatest fulfillment from. That's when you are literally walking in alignment with the Most High God. Miracles happen. Okay, so I said that to say whoever this is for, you dodge the bullet. Some of you are thinking about people are thinking, and you don't you don't even know their history. Some of these people, and I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna give it to y'all like I'm getting from spirit. Some of y'all are um dealing with people who could have been ex-convicts. Okay. Some of y'all are dealing with people, you don't know what people got in their skeletons. Some of y'all are dealing with people who are master manipulators. It's one of these oh, this is for some of my 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 um women of God, okay? Some of my kingdom kingdom women, some of my kingdom future brides in the building, okay? If you've never seen it, they should still have it on there on Netflix. It's a series called Dirty John. Check it out. It's based on a true story. Some of y'all have dodged some Dirty Johns, especially right now if you're feeling like you're hurt or this and that. I promise you, watch Dirty John and you might, you might be shocked that you see that that person had a lot of characteristics of what God blocked out of your life. Don't ever question God. And I trust me, I'm not saying that from a place like, oh, you're ashamed for questioning God because look, I ought to be the first one to say, I did it more times than I can count. <laughs> I don't have enough hands, toes, or strands of hair. Well, maybe maybe enough strands of hair. <laughs> strands of lace for an entrepreneur <laughs> to count how many times I've questioned the Lord. So I'm not saying it like that, like judging you for doing it. But what I'm saying is retrospectively, all of my questioning God was in vain because as time progressed, I always realized everything happened for a reason. And especially when you're a child of God, Romans 8, 28, all things work together for good for those who love the Lord and have been called according to what? According to his purpose. Okay, so some of you right now might be going through pain or heartbreak or wondering like, God, I thought this was my person. You dodged the bullet. I'm not even going to make this video too long. You dodged the bullet. Okay. If you only knew the spirit of that person, if you only knew the background of that person, some of y'all are dealing with people and y'all don't even know that's not even their real name. Family, this is serious. The Lord says, be innocent as doves, yet wise as serpents. Everybody does not have your heart. Everybody does not even serve your God. So we have to be very careful with the people that we deal with. One thing my mom used to always say is that you can, we can only judge people according to how we are. And I couldn't agree with that more. And one of the mistakes, and she will always tell me that because I'll tell her things of what happened to me or this and that. And she'll be like, well, Kendra, that's because you're, ju you're, you're, you're judging them based on how you are. She's like, everybody doesn't think like you. Everybody doesn't feel like you. Everybody doesn't have your heart. So you're judging people kind of according to how you are instead of taking people at their face value. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's a paraphrase, but that's exactly what my mom be saying, okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Take people at face value when a person shows you who, who they are. Believe them. As children of God, it's not our job to... Look, family. Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, was the ultimate sacrifice. Yeshua HaMashiach sacrificed for us so that we can continue to, to move on and go from glory to glory. Yeshua did... The, sac the, the ultimate sacrifice. 
So some of you are literally sacrificing your own life purpose to try to make things work with other people. And that is not your job. Your only job is to serve the Lord thy God. That is it. And some of us go through so much pain because even though we have a good heart, we're trying to do things and we're trying to make things fit that the Lord is like, no, I didn't put my hands on it. And when we go against God as children of God, we suffer. He will protect us. He will, he will cover us, but we do also go through unnecessary pain. All right. So some of you might be dealing with some pain from somebody that God is like, look, Sending me to let you know you dodged a bullet. Instead of crying, stop crying. Wipe your tears and thank the Lord. Thank God that they're out of your life. Anybody or anything or any opportunity that is meant to be in your life, I promise you it doesn't come with confusion. It doesn't come with heartbreak. It doesn't come with manipulation. It doesn't come with deception. None of that. Anything or anybody or any experience that's meant to be in your life, it produces the fruit of the Lord. Peace, joy, love patience, understanding. Okay. So anybody or anything, you dodge the bullet. Some of you, this don't even have to be about a person. This could have been a job that you're like, man, I really wanted that job. You have no idea you dodged a bullet. Let me say this. Thank you. Holy spirit. Holy spirit is dropping it. Okay. This is for somebody who you feel like there was a job opportunity that you missed out on. You have no idea. For some of you, this is a very specific message that I'm getting. For some of you, it could have been like a friend where you're, or, or, or somebody that you know, and they're telling you like, man, this is the best job ever. Or let's say well, somebody somewhere you're going to move. Oh, I love this place so much. This is the best, best, best. And you don't even know misery loves company. They're lying to you. God protected you from that because that person is deceiving you so that they won't be over there miserable by themselves. It's nothing like what they're telling you. So anything that is not meant for a child of God, God blocks it. And sometimes it really hurts us because it's like, I mean, Lord, just let me get one off. But no, no, no. The Lord does not play about his kids. He don't. The wicked, they suffer for their own decisions. But for us, we, we suffer because of our own decisions. But God protects us so that we don't have to get the ultimate suffering, which is what a lot of these wicked people get the full recompense. We just get a little bit of rebuke. Okay. And it might hurt along the way, but God is protecting us. All right. So anything that is not meant for you, you dodge the bullet. God has something greater. Anything that's for you, you're not going to have to fight about it. You're not going to have to cry about it or anything. And I'm going to close this quote with this. This used to be my favorite quote. This isn't my favorite quote anymore. It's one of my favorite quotes. But this was my favorite, first favorite quote when I was a little girl. And I'm going to say, I'm going to paraphrase it to, to, to put in men and women. But the quote was this. A man, okay, and we'll say, or a woman who is worth your tears will never make you cry, Okay. I love you all so much. Y'all come join us on patreon.com slash pretty boss TV and join the, join the YouTube family. Hit the subscribe. And if you're new, let me know. Welcome. And even if you've been here family, welcome back again and again. I love you all eternally, literally from the heart. I talk to y'all soon. Y'all willing. Peace.